we got here is a portable air compressor that I made for my plasma cutter. Um, this is my plasma cutter here. It's a prime weld, three in one. It's a plasma cutter, a TIG welder, and a stick welder. It's a great machine um, for plasma cutting. It goes up to 200 amp. Um, or for, I think the max output on the machine total is 200 amp. Um, basically what I needed is a small air compressor that I could fit on this cart that was a high output. So basically as soon as I turned it on, I was able to cut. And uh, I purchased little air compressors and stuff like that. Um, and they just, they didn't, they, I had to wait for them to fill up. And then while you're cutting, they're constantly coming back on and you have to wait before you can cut again. But I came across an oxygen concentrator. If you don't know what that is, uh, maybe Google it. But basically they take outside air and they, they draw in the outside air and then they basically concentrate the oxygen content in it and they make it where you can use um, for oxygen machines instead of having a gas bottle. Um, they just make the old oxygen out of the air we breathe. So what those little machines have in them is they have a high output um, air compressor. Well, basically, they, they can compress air really fast, especially if you have the tanks that came inside it, which are these. So, real quick, I'll go into what this is. These are the tanks that were inside the oxygen concentrator. They're real small, um, and that's all that I need. And this is the compressor itself. And um, what this is, it's got, two, it's got two chambers that compress air, and it's got a big electric motor on the inside here and then it's got cooling fans on either side. So basically all I did is I took the compressor part out of the machine and then I disconnected all the other stuff and I, take, I took the output right here, so this is where the air output is, and I hooked up these two small tanks that were inside the machine. And um, basically I, I hooked that up and right now it has no shut off on it. So you power it up, this is the capacitor that was inside in order to make it run. So I just wired the capacitor just like this and then put a power cord on it directly. So you just plug it in and it powers up right away. And here's the power cord. So after you get the, the capacitor wired in correctly and you put a plug on it and you can plug it in, it'll power up. So what it does is it compresses the air inside these two little tanks and then, and then I put an output line on the second tank so it goes into one tank and then into the second tank and then I put an output line and on the output line I put a regular air fitting like this and this is the fitting to my plasma cutter and this is the output from the little air compressor and then when you plug it in it immediately starts compressing air and you can start cutting immediately so my gauge on front of my plasma cutter, which I'll show you in a second, it goes up to 40, 30 PSI the second it powers up. And this is what I've been looking for. And the hard thing to find is, is this design of the compressor, you know, where you could purchase. And it's, it's one little unit. But <clears throat> I was able to find one, and I just wanted to share that how well it works. And it makes it where I never have to stop. And in order to cut, I can constantly cut and never have to stop and never have to wait for air to build up. And the only other way to do this is to have a big compressor that holds a lot of air, and then you gotta have the regulators to control the pressure and yada yada. But with this little thing, it can fit on this cart, and uh, you just have to have a separate plug. So it does. It's not built into the machine, but I just plug this into 110, my machine into 240. And bam, I can start cutting, and I can cut constantly. As long as my machine will cut, this thing puts out the air to do it. So um, real quick, I'll show you how this works and uh, how well it works. And then uh, maybe you can find an old oxygen concentrator somewhere, and you can do a build similar to this. Also, on the input of the compressor, I just put this little filter on here to keep debris and stuff from getting inside the compressor. I don't know how long this will last, but I've been doing this for about a year now, and it works fantastic. So I just wanted to share. So let me go ahead and hook this back up into the plasma cutter, and I'm going to grab the camera, and I'm going to come around, and I'm going to show you the gauge after I plug in the compressor and how well that this works. Just to show you a close-up.
Okay, here's the little compressor unit. You can see the windings for the motor in here. The cooling fan. This cooling fan actually broke off, but I haven't had any problems with it getting hot. It was inside of a big unit, so now that it's out in the open, I imagine that it's okay. At least it's lasted for a while so far. These are the tanks, as I showed you before, and this is my output line here, and this is the input from the compressor here. So the air comes out of here and compresses into the tank, this tank, and then compresses over into this tank. I just connected the two tanks like so with this little hose here. And basically all the stuff to make this is inside of the oxygen concentrator already. You just have to take it out and then reroute a few things and, and basically use the stuff that's in there to build this compressor because it already compresses air inside the machine in order to give you pure oxygen. So basically I just took all the little oxygen concentrator stuff out and made it where it's just a compressor and the two tanks and then you have an output. And so here's the output connected to my plasma cutter which goes in here and this is a um, water separator to keep moisture from getting inside my machine um, and it goes through there and then inside the machine. So real quick I'm going to plug in the compressor and I'm going to show you how fast that the, the pressure builds up inside the machine. Okay, if you look right here on the front of the machine, hold on, let me get that to focus. There we go. Right now we're at zero PSI, zero pounds pressure. So I'm going to plug this in. Then I just plugged it in and right over here, immediately you can see how fast the pressure builds up. So I'm already up to almost 60 PSI, which is more than enough for what I need. So what I do have to do is put a, a pressure switch on here. So whenever it gets up to the pressure that I need, this machine will shut off because as of right now, it just constantly runs. But I actually have a leak in the system on purpose. So that way it doesn't build up too much pressure and overpressurize my machine. And another thing that I have is I have a little switch that I put on the end here that you just plug into the end of it and then you plug that into the plug and then it has a switch on it where you can turn it on and off. But um, it's really quiet so you don't hardly even hear it and it builds up the pressure almost immediately but you see the pressure dropped off as soon as I unplugged it because it's got a leak in the system because I did that on purpose so that way it, it doesn't overpressurize my machine because that could damage my plasma cutter and I don't want that to happen. So one more time I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to let you see how fast it builds up the pressure. So right now I'm trying to plug it in. Alright, if you can hear it. Okay, ready? That's how fast it builds up the pressure. And you can start cutting as soon as it's up to 30 PSI, you can start cutting. And I'll turn on the machine here. I don't know if it'll open the valve because I don't have it plugged in right now. But let me plug in the machine. If you give me just a second, I'll plug in the machine and I'll show you how it cuts. I'm going to plug in the air compressor here. And I'll show you the pressure build up here. And then I'm going to pull the trigger on my plasma cutter right here and basically um, pretend as if I'm cutting that way the air pressure release and I will show you the gauge and you will be able to see the constant pressure that the the air compressor is able to hold so that way you can cut and the pressure never drops low enough to where you have to stop cutting it basically keeps up with there's enough pressure coming out of the compressor to be able to constantly cut and this is the most important thing about this machine and what what this does for this machine so right now I'm gonna plug it in okay as you can see it's running and there's my pressure on the machine and I'm gonna start cutting
and as you can see it holds the pressure coming out it holds at around 30 psi and that is all you need to cut so i can constantly cut it slowly slowly drops but at some point you know you're going to have to stop and watch how fast it builds right back up but you could still cut with it like this and bam it immediately jumps back up so i'll start cutting again and you can literally continue to cut with that much pressure and then it jumps up so fast so it's virtually you don't never have to stop cutting because of the air and you don't have a giant machine air compressor to keep up the air it's just this little tiny thing it fits right on the bottom of this cart so you can have it really portable and I will show you right now how it cuts let me put my glasses on haha -ha. okay so I'll show you right now how well it cuts no problem and you saw how long I was cutting tip is not damaged tip is still good and so everything about this machine is perfect for plasma cutting you can virtually constantly cut it's not loud it's very quiet and it's a small unit it will fit on my cart and it maintains pressure to constantly cut so let me unplug this so I just wanted to share that with you so if you're able to find a oxygen concentrator somewhere you can probably find them at your local scrapyard or anything of that nature. I found mine um, at an abandoned property out in the woods and a, a customer of mine hired me to clean up the property and I found this little machine, this oxygen concentrator on the property and I tore it apart and took the compressor out and actually there's a bunch of other cool components in it as well some little aluminum tanks um all, there was more aluminum tanks other than just these but i just thought this was fascinating because it solved my problem for my plasma cutter because now i can constantly cut i don't have a big air compressor machine and i can cut nicely and it maintains pressure in order to constantly cut and as soon as i turn on my compressor and as soon as i turn on my plasma cutter i can immediately start cutting now if you use different tanks other than the ones that came with the, the oxygen concentrator, I'm not sure how this will perform. I've only used these tanks, but like I said, even without the tanks, you could probably hook this directly up to your plasma cutter and you could probably cut just fine, but you're able to build up a little bit more pressure when you add the tanks. But I imagine if you added a bigger tank, you would have to wait for the pressure to build up and you wouldn't be able to constantly cut. So for what I'm doing, this is perfect because you can start cutting immediately after you plug it in and you can constantly cut. And I don't even notice, I never even noticed the fact that, you know, I'm losing any pressure because at some point, you know, you can only cut for so long and then you've got to resituate or something like that. And virtually the second you let off the trigger, your pressure is built back up and you can start cutting again and there's no problem at all. So if you have a plasma cutter and you want a air compressor that will keep up with cutting and have pressure constantly, this is definitely the kind of compressor you want. I know some plasma cutters uh, have built-in air compressors and they're obviously a lot more expensive but this is a cheaper plasma cutter i think it's like 400 bucks and i've got this free but if you had to purchase a unit like that i imagine it would be a couple hundred dollars 
but it's small it's quiet and it's really powerful and it's perfect for what i need so uh if you like this video please uh like and subscribe and i will share more videos on how i set up my welding equipment i have the ability to weld aluminum in the field off a generator and a small miller 211 and i will show you how that setup is i can plasma cut and i can <clears throat> weld steel and aluminum out of the back of my pickup truck which is something that a lot of customers are somewhat you know fascinated with and it gets me a lot of work and i will show you how i set that up if you're interested and here's my spool gun little setup here and i'll show you how i set that up and it just it really makes welding something you can do very mobile and this is one thing that added to my ability where now i can plasma cut out of the back of my truck using a generator i plug my 240 into the plasma cutter i use the 110 for my compressor and bam i can plasma cut off the back of my tailgate on my pickup truck and it's quiet and it, it's effective it works well so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you like this and if you want to see more stuff like this i appreciate you watching have a good day